Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthus. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is the GPO-1FB again, with, this time with its standard beam rifle. Uh, I haven't played it a lot since I last recorded. Uh, ha just haven't managed to align the uh, unlimited space require or the unlimited space rounds with the uh, play two rounds in space requirements before um, Thursday night, which is when I got this. And I'm not sure how I feel about it with the, a beam rifle. I it's not bad. I just think the uh, long rifle suits my style of play a lot better. For for a you know, a ranged fighter, a, a ranged charging beam rifle fighter, which is my strong point, I want to say, I definitely will do better with the long rifle every time. Still I love that beam saber spin, though. That's great. It's it's good. I The standard rifle is the first ECAP beam rifle in the game. And so the reloader parts work on it instead of the uh, instead of the overheat parts, and that's that's not bad to have. There's a fairly long cooldown between shots. Just compared to the uh, speed with which you can fire with the uh, long rifle, it's a little disappointing. Again, not bad, just not what I'm used to. Did not quite manage to kill that uh, fellow FB before he got out and into his invincibility frames. I do not have uh, a I do not have a uh, rifle ready. I probably should have uh, stayed at range and used Vulcans because I'm getting myself beat up pretty hard here. But luckily, the rifle is reloaded, so now I can miss and get killed. Tried to tackle the red one, managed to get that GPO three in front of me instead. Red one's behind me again. That's who I was looking for. I wasted a tackle. I should not have done that. And immediately forgot I had and went into overboost and I don't know I might have done that intentionally this time the last round I played I did overboost by accident a couple of times but the fact that I managed to get myself to relative safety makes me think I probably knew what I was doing for once it I do not expect to make a habit of it but let's see yeah, just uh, getting my bearings trying to do a lot of hit and run because I do do better at range managed to get a kill with the Vulcans. I'm going to have to get back in the habit of using Vulcans with this and, and use them while boosting because... Yeah, because be between shots with the uh, with the uh, beam rifle of this type, it's I'm just going to have to find ways to stay on the offensive. And part of that's going to be melee, but I'm still not great with it. It's It all comes down to the angle I attack from and all of those things and things that... I'm not always good with. I Again, much better at range fighting. A lot of that just comes down to the way I learned to play because of my connection over the years and because of how in the first game I could melee from any direction and get tackled out of it uh, as though I had just blundered up from the front and that got really annoying and so I got out of the habit of using melee more or less at all. If, if I ever used it, it was in the, you know, stunlock meta. That's... That was where I, I did my most melee, and even that would backfire on me in GBO1 sometimes. In a very GBO1 kind of mood right now, because this uh, control swap they just uh, did on the game to make it so that it will have the proper default buttons uh, on the North American version. Battle Operation 1 switched back and forth a couple of times on what did what. Sometimes X, uh, X would be confirm and circle cancel because it was set to whatever is correct for your uh, PlayStation console's region. When it first started, just like when this first started, uh, Circle was confirmed and X was canceled because it was hard-coded in the Japanese style. Uh, the Japanese style of confirm and cancel, just by sheer coincidence, uh, corresponds exactly to how the Super NES's uh, confirm and cancel buttons always worked. I think that might be why they changed it for the U.S. I'm... All these years later, I'm probably still more comfortable with that. But there was a while there in Battle Operation 1 where on some screens, and some screens you had to access back-to-back -back, like the purchase menus, X would be confirmed on one and Circle would be confirmed on the next. And, oh man, that was annoying. Ah, there's another kill. I was did not realize that person had that uh, little health. Let's see, looking for a good opportunity... GPO3, I'm pretty sure I can actually outboost GPO3 if I try. 
I just it, if not, it's a by a very narrow margin that it can out uh, out boost me. I didn't go for the uh, for the Palpatine attack there because I was pretty sure that they would uh, roll out of it because this does have, of course, multiple dodge rolls. But the one of the things I do with this and with a lot of faster mobile suits, this is just my preference, is to, I think I've said before, not back up after an attack if I can help it, but to just keep going forward because it's faster and more natural to just go forward and get around the corner than it is for me to back up and, you know, get to cover or whatever that way. So it's it's just a preference I've developed over the years for faster things. Let's see, that person just used dodge roll, so I can probably tag them. Let's see, I don't know if, if they did just use a dodge roll, they probably were not boosting, so GPO3S may still be faster. Would not surprise me. And... Missed them. Went right... Oh yeah, I caught them with the overhead of my uh, melee swing. I remember not expecting that to work. I thought I, I thought I missed them by a good margin, and it turns out I hit. And there's did not hit with the uh, with the twirl, but I hit with the first uh, swing. That's not bad. I may have tagged with that, or they may have just uh, hit me with a minor shot with the long rifle, because it could be it could be either. Somebody just died. I think it was one of theirs. We've got no. They've got a very slim lead. And just waiting again for opportunity, and going to take it. They turned, were not ready to tackle me, or I think they did manage to evade uh, for a second, but yeah, I managed to uh, get them down. We're only about 300 points behind, not much at these levels, but it's, it's, with as much as our mobile suits cost, and the fact that we're outnumbered in this corner a little bit, I'm not sure we can make this up. I don't remember if we do or not. I, I did actually save a couple of losing rounds recently just because I thought they, went, they were really good or interesting. And this might be one of them. Uh, 50 some seconds left. I started to say 50 minutes left, but I'm not talking that long in straight line, honestly. Got the Gogan Cannon. I still don't have the lead. Don't know if we can get it. 40 some seconds. I may be about to die, and if so, there, that's you know there's nothing else I can contribute because my respawn will be too long. Missed my shot. Missed my melee, gonna die. Yep. And that is my part of the round concluded. I don't think the rest of the team quite manages to make it up, which is a shame, but definitely kept competitive. And we've got four GPO 1FBs, and I'm not sure they have any... They have one support, the Gelgood Cannon, but yeah, they... they they do manage to beat us, I believe, by a very slim margin, so don't believe everything you hear about the superiority of the GPO-1 FB. It, we, again, we had four of them and a GPO-2 and could not quite beat these guys. So it's, it's, not, it's good, but it's not infallible. When I find up close, it can get a little fragile. Yeah, they had two GPO-3Ss, two FBs, and a Gelgood Cannon, yeah, and they did just manage to beat us. Um, yeah, so, I, I think I did fairly well, though, so that's why I saved that one, and I, I think I had a pretty good showing as to how to use this fairly well with the, uh, with the rifle. It is, it is, to my way of thinking, very different from how you use it with the long rifle. But that is going to do it for Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more. So until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! I really do want to get my hands on the other GPs when I can and the uh, Gerber Tetra. It's just going to be a while yet unless I totally luck out because I, I don't have a lot of tokens to throw at anything right now. Still, this is still a really good machine.